Hi there, this is Anton Duplessis, and I'm going to show you how to make a volume mesh in Dragonfly version 2022.2. So this is one of our new features in the latest release, and I'm going to demo this on a very small data set of a uh, walnut. Um, I've already segmented this walnut um, using watershed segmentation, which I'm not going to get into here. Just to give you an idea for those of you who haven't used Dragonfly, this is the overview, a quad view. This is the data we work with. It's a little walnut scan with a base underneath it. And the reason I needed a watershed for that segmentation is because the walnut shell and the base on which it's sitting, let me just flip this upright. You go to the main tab at the top, there's a flip tool. So just to view it upright, at the interface there, they are touching, so it's quite a difficult segmentation. You should, you could do it manually. Uh, for example, let me just demonstrate how to do this briefly. With a, we create a new region of interest, a multi ROI with two classes. You want, uh, in this case, walnut and everything else. So in that walnut, you could, for example, paint like this manually, and for the everything else like this um, and do that slice by slice or just use a watershed segmentation or there are some other tools also. This is not a segmentation um, video. The demo here is about making a volumetric mesh or a 3D tetrahedral mesh that can be used for simulation. So you might want to take the, the walnut to a finite element modeling code and make a crushing simulation and see how much force it takes to crack the walnut, for example. So what we need to make a volume mesh in Dragonfly is we need a multi ROI with two classes or more classes. You can have any number of classes. Actually, in this demo, we've got two classes, the walnut and the everything else. And I have, I've highlighted them by clicking on control, holding down the control button and the left mouse button to activate both of them on the Multi ROI, I right click and I create a 3D tetrahedral mesh. Now, if I do this directly, it would take a long time to compute because the code behind it is taking a lot of CPU um, processing. It requires a lot of processing time. And unless you have a really big computer, that'll take a really long time. So, one way to make a faster um, calculation, especially I recommend this when you start out is to make a smaller um, voxel data set. You can downsample. You can either downsample the image data or you can downsample just the region of interest, the multi ROI. So in this case, I right click and I go to modify and transform and sample. And in this case, I'm going to downsample excessively by a factor of 10, just to make a very short demo here, not to spend too much time on calculation. So if you look at the downsampled data of the multi ROI. This is now the downsampled one. So it's following the much larger pixels. So the reason for this is now we have only 40 pixels across the image, which is, uh, as you see here in the basic properties, this will make a quite a fast demo. So what we do is we now right click on this smaller version and make click on 3D tetrahedral mesh generator. I, uh, we can use the default settings here. You can play with those if you're interested. And we're going to generate a mesh. So the aim of these videos are just to show you where the tools are in order to make use of this, this new function. And this is quite a um, downsample data to make a quick demo. So taking, I think, 10 seconds, something like 10 seconds. And there we go. So we have now a new object here. And if you click on it, we'll see a whole lot of triangles. And uh, one way to view that is if you've clicked on the 3D tetrahedral mesh, there's a, uh, where is that? There's a scalar information tick box for creating color on that mesh. So you can see the two different regions of the multi ROI um, and these mesh elements fitting with one another quite nicely. So if you are interested, so that's that's it basically. And now what I will also demonstrate here is how to make a mesh of just one of these. So if we just want the nut and not the mesh of everything around it, you can just click on the nut in the multi-ROI. You need a multi-ROI at the moment. And 
click on 3D Tetra Evil Mesh Generator, generate the mesh, and it goes through the same process. And it's a bit faster. And there we have our tetrahedral mesh. So this is a full volumetric mesh that you that represents the not only the surface like the STL me surface mesh, but actually a full volumetric mesh that can be taken for simulation. So if you want to save this file, you right, right click and export tetrahedral mesh to file. And in that case, you can select a NetGen mesh. The code behind it is NetGen from ng-solve. So you can um, look them up for more information. They also have features. Um, it's quite easy to take this mesh to other formats, apparently. And you can also take export it to other formats directly from here. So I hope that was useful. And please give us feedback on this function. We hope you find it very useful to implement. Thank you.